And what's going on, fellow Machina users? This is Fontaine, VIP SoundLab.com, and I just want to check out the new Native Instruments Machine expansion, Street Swarm, which is basically an expansion uh, that they're trying to capture some of the vintage sound and feel of the 90s. And I heard that they had Young Snipe on this joint. So when I heard they had Young Snipe on it, I was like, yo, I definitely want to do a review on it right quick. So here's some of the details on the NI site. I'm not going to go through every detail on it. You guys can go ahead and uh, go through some of the details. As you can see right here, Vintage Funk, Cinescapes, captures the explosive sound of the 90s New York hip hop, features kits packed with specially recorded acoustic drums and melodic elements ready to be uh, sampled, exclusive effect macros to add additional texture and personalization. And as you see right here, here's some of the details on the site. You guys can head over to the site and read some more of the details uh, on it. But as you see right here about Young, or rather about Snipe Young, Grammy nominated producer and sound designer Snipe Young composed, recorded, and engineered all the content for this expansion. One of the most sought after producers in the industry, he's worked with the artists such as Nicki Minaj, Beyonce, Little John, E40, and Tony Braxton. And then they go into further detail about some of the other expansions created by him, such as Golden Kingdom and Lilac Glare. And of course, here's the at a glance details. Over 50 kits, 5 projects, 20 instruments, 14 Monarch patches, 7 uh, Reactor Prism patches, and 183 patterns, uh, 953 instruments, 480 drums, 189 one-shots, and 83 loops. The library size is 1.03 gigabytes, and your system requirements is machine 2.6.5 or higher, and you want to update to the latest versions of Monarch, Reactor Prism, Reactor 6, or the Reactor 6 player, and of course... It's also for iMachine too. All right, so let's go ahead and check out some of the sounds. All right, so here I am inside of Machine 2.6.5. And th I think what I'm gonna do is gonna make this into two videos. Uh, on this video right here, I think I'm just gonna just go through some of the sounds that's in the kit. And then in the next video, what I'll do is I think I'll try to make like a, a dope beat. You know what I'm saying? Using nothing but the sounds inside the kit and just go from there. But for right now, let's just go ahead and check out some of the sounds. Again, this was just released. All right, so I'm under um, the library icon, under the sample folder here, Street Swarm. Under types, you have drums, loops, and one shots. I'm gonna select the drums first. And the drums looks like they're broken down into categories such as clap, crash, hi-hat, closed, open, kick, percussion, ride, shaker, snare, and toms. So let's check out some of the kicks. Okay, and it has some uh, some pretty nice kick drums in there. And let me make sure that this is on my correct sound card. Okay, and it is. And let's check out some of the hi-hats. Pretty crispy. I also want to send a special shout out to NativeInstruments.com. Uh, they've been hooking me up with these expansions for the last three expansions, and I just want you guys to know, y'all, I really appreciate that. You know, these are some some pretty nice, uh, pretty nice sounds in here. Some nice little toms. There go some nice little snares. Has that nice uh, vintage vibe to it. 
you know, the way they recorded it sounds, sounds, sounds almost like actual, like really live samples. It actually sounds like something that was sampled from an old vinyl record digging in the crates. I mean, if this isn't actually sampled from actual records, I know on the site it did say something about something from uh, Black's Poitation, I think it was. But uh, I have to do a little more research on that. Because it sounds like a mixture to me. But, you know, a lot of, a lot of nice sounds. You know, I don't see any reason why you wouldn't be able to make a, a dope beat in here. Check out some of the percussions broken down into various triangle, tambourine, conga, cowbell, hand drum, metallic. Nice little percussion sounds in there. Checking out the shakers, snares, the toms. Check out some of the vinyl. I do got some vinyl. Nice little vinyl feel to it, digital. Some acoustic. Okay, not too bad. And uh, check out some of these rides. Got two little rides in there. Okay, that's not too bad. And let's check out some of the loops. What kind of loops they got in here. Let's check out what's going on with the loops. I think I'll start with the piano keys first. So you know what I'm doing, right? I'm getting ideas so when I make this next video, what I want to use, you know that, right? Nice little Guitars, bass, Dolomite Jones hi hat. <laughs> okay, what kind of sense they got in here? Some bells. Sent. Not bad, you know, because, you know, when it comes to 90s hip hop, I know like I used to listen to like a lot of Nas, Das FX, um, Third Bass, you know, uh, Misfits of Soul, uh, Nice and Smooth. By the way, shout out to uh, my boy Smooth B, by the way. Been, been talking to him lately. Um, 
also I want to give a shout out to DJ Lethal House. You know, I think of music by DJ Lethal House of Pain. Uh, you know, they've done some uh, testimonials on our sound design. Warren G. Uh, Warren G's done some testimony on our sound design as well. Shout out to uh, Warren G. You know, I think about music, music like that. Regulate, you know. Uh, so, yeah, I'm definitely. I'm definitely hearing like a lot of useful sounds in here. Nice little vinyl kind of effect to that. Got some little vocal uh, sounds in there. Also think about uh, Try Call Quest. Try Call Quest was real dope in the 90s. You know, they had a nice little style, a nice little vibe to them. Native Tongue. Shout out to Native Tongue. Shout out to Q-Tip. You know what I mean? Try Call Quest, Queen Latifah. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to uh, Cool Herc, African Bambada. You know what I'm saying? All all the forefathers who laid out, you know what I'm saying, the foreground for hip hop. Um, actually, because it, it actually really started in, what, the 70s? But, um, yeah, man, that's like so many names going through my mind right now. And it's, it's just hard for me to just, you know, just single out just one. So um, I'll tell you what, let me let me just load up some of these urban uh, projects and I'll play a couple of these as well. And then in the next video, what I'll do is I'll uh, jump on this and see if I could bang a, a quick banger out. All right. So let's see. This is a. Uh, a project called 79 DeVille. It's at 86 beats per minute. And I'm just going to just play it. Let's check it out. Let's jump on one concrete and asphalt. I think I think another thing I like about these expansions is when they put like these different um, effects and things on there, it really makes the drum sounds stand out a lot. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn some of these off. I want to hear the raw, uh, just the pure sounds themselves without any, you know, effects or anything on it. Pretty nice little kick right there.
it's amazing the effects that they have on here. The way that they have it, you know, tuned up and all that good stuff there. And I think that's pretty dope. Nice little effects and stuff like that. I don't know why it just feels like it's really at home with me. Um, I don't know. <laughs> it's just something about these sounds. They just really just really hit home with me. Huh? Interesting. Okay. Well, um, I think I'll load another kit up. Let's do. Um, let's make a new one. We'll discard that. And we'll check out Doper Man or Dapper Man, I'm sorry. little project in there so yeah man you know i'm not gonna run too long uh just want to go through some of the sounds with you guys and of course it has you know group kits and things of that nature as well so um yeah man that's pretty much it going through the new native instruments expansion street swarm just going through some of the sounds and going through some of the projects i really hadn't you know really touched base on the group kits, but you know it has some nice little group kits in here uh you would have to go up under the actual uh the icon itself but you know you, you know just just getting an idea getting a feel for the actual kit itself you know in my personal opinion i think it, it's raw it's gritty it has some of that uh real vinyl feel to it when it comes to uh 90 hip-hop music and uh yeah i mean I, I, i'm loving the style of it it's real uh kind of like a lev like a kind of like a heavy layered you know thick punchy sound when it comes to kick drums the bass is really warm it's really present you know they have some nice um group and sound effects on each sound slot so it's pretty much um uh, banging out of the box you know you probably have to do little to no tweaking when it comes to actually loading up these these kits and things like that because they have some of the effects already preloaded on the sounds in the group level so that's another dope touch to it and uh yeah man what more can i say man checking out street swarm it's your boy fontaine vip soundlab.com if you're feeling a kit, leave a thumbs up in the section below. If you love the kit, head over to nativerichmonds.com, pick you up a copy today. And um, I apologize for the uh, the lawn service guy outside putting a little hum in the mic. But, <laughs> you know, we're going we're gonna, to keep rolling. And, um, yeah, if you're feeling the kit, uh, head over to nativerichmonds.com. And uh, I will see you guys on the next one. And on the next video, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the kit and I'm going to make a beat using this kit. All right. So I will see you guys in the next one. I'm out.